hi ladies, Jenny back again with a video on how I do um, some of my binding um, for my paper bag mini albums. Um, this was a response to a comment made on uh, the vintage mini album that I made for Daisy, uh, aka Mrs Glitterist, and it was from Speckaloo asking how I bound my um, mini album. So I said that I was going to make a paper bag mini album and that I would bind it um, the way I bound uh, the vintage mini album. So this is the video in response to, to Speckaloo's comment. So I've put all the uh, paper bags together into my mini book form and now cutting out some heavyweight chipboard. Um, now the paper bag pages um, are six inches by four and three quarters so I've cut the heavyweight chipboard at uh, five and a quarter by six and a quarter now I'm also cutting a piece for the spine and how I determine the width of that is just measure out um, the width of it as it is uh, and that it add at least a quarter of an inch bit more um, to allow for all the embellishments and photos that are going into the um, mini album. Um, so I think with this one I ended up cutting it about a, a, an inch and a quarter for the spine. Okay, so I've cut all my pieces now, the front and the back and the um, spine section. Just making sure that they all uh, line up. And I decided to paint the um, front and back of this mini album. Um, I'm just yeah, putting it all together there, just making sure before I go any further with it. So I'm happy with that. Um, now taking some Claudine Helmuth's um, Studio White Gesso and priming the front of the front cover and the back of the back cover um, with that gesso and also just the edges on the insides of the front and back covers. I painted each of the paper bag sections of the album using the uh, using some white paint and so instead of inking all the edges I actually painted them. which took a while because I had I had to do um, two pages and the opposite sides and then let that dry before I could go on. Okay, so now I'm trying to uh, mix up a pink shade that I like using some uh, Joe Sonia's Artist um, Gouache acrylic paints, um, the rose pink and titanium white. thought it needed a bit more red in there so added a bit of um, the Napthol red light Joe Sonia's again that um, Napthol red light uh, paint there is years old it could even be 10 years old and it's still um, the right consistency um, uh, yeah I, I don't think I'd use anything else um, so just painting uh, those covers in the um, pink and also the spine section now you don't really need to paint the whole spine section particularly the back section as it's going to be stuck to the um, canvas but I tend to do both 
Um, now that dried completely and now I'm applying some cracking medium, um, a really thick coating on the um, front and back cover. Um, waited for about three hours for it to dry and now applying some, dabbing on some um, pearl Adirondack um, acrylic paint there. And I think it's because of the way this paint's been applied uh, in the dabbing fashion that the cracking um, didn't quite work. But I wasn't too sad about that because I think um, once it dried, the effect, um, you can see the pink coming through it subtly. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy with the result that I got. Wasn't what I intended, but got a pretty result anyway. Uh, so now applying the designer, adhering the designer paper to the backs of those front and back covers and sanding the edges. Okay, so there's the three sections there. Um, now this is the um, sticky back canvas, the Claudine Helmets. Um, just cutting it down to size so that it can fit in um, my big shot uh, using a Tim Holtz alterations die there, one of the um, on the edge dies. Um, just lining it up there and cutting um, both ends out. a bit wide for the die so just chopping up the ends there and then just taking um, the cover one of the covers there and sizing it up and um, it's probably about an inch too wide for the cover so just now slicing off um, a half inch off each side of that sticky back canvas and taking some Stampin' Up Regal Rose ink there and dabbing around the edges to give it a pink shade all right this is going to go to two videos sorry guys um, so thanks for watching this one and we'll see you soon bye